Hello again, everyone. Welcome to Washington Gun Law TV. I'm Washington Gun Law President William Kirk. Thanks for joining us. Well, listen, we're going to start doing a, kind of some wrap-up videos here about the bloodbath, horrific legislative session that we are coming to the end of. We have three gun control bills that are going to be signed by the governor likely this week. By the time this video comes out, he may have already signed them. It has many of you curious and worried when do you have to start changing your behavior? When do you have to bring yourself into compliance with these laws? And for some of you, you may decide, when am I going to willfully start not complying with these laws? Well, let's clear up some of the confusion that you may have. Let's talk about when all of these laws actually will go into effect so that you can actually educate yourself today. So today, let's spend a few minutes, get you all up to speed on. So when does all of Washington's new gun laws take effect? Hey, before we get going down the road, we're going down. Proud to announce that this video is being brought to you by Rev Arms. That's right. You can find them located right here in Ellensburg or right here in Covington, Washington. Listen, they're doing full-time gunsmithing, Cerakoting, barrel threading, optics millings, restoration, and repairs. They can do just about anything you want. So for more information, visit my good friends at RevArms.com. Okay, so like I said, we're going to be talking about the three pieces of significant gun control legislation that have passed out of Olympia that we expect Governor Inslee to sign, and most importantly, the enactment dates. That is, when do each of these laws take effect? Now, let's just take it in the order of when they take effect going furthest out to the one that's going to take effect almost immediately or actually will take effect immediately. House Bill 1143 originally started as a pre-purchasing licensing requirement, one of the most offensive pieces of legislation we'd ever seen come along. Fortunately, it was significantly watered down through the very hard fighting of both Senate and House Republicans. That bill now is in a considerably more diluted form than it originally was. Rather than a pre-purchasing licensing requirement, it's now going to be a pre-purchasing educational component similar to what we see with Initiative 1639 and our classes that would have previously allowed us to buy semi-automatic rifles. Uh, I'm sure that folks like Dan down at Sporting Systems will find a very, very efficient way to teach that class, very concise in his lecture, I'm sure. And Dan, again, if I can be any part of that, please, please, I'm more than happy to come down and help you out. The effective date of of House Bill 1143 is not until January 1st of 2025. Let me say that again. January 1st of 2025. And there is a clause in the bill that if the legislature cannot fund it, it never goes into effect. So that's kind of a stay tuned for details. Now, is the money there to do it? Of course, it's there to do it. When you got $9 billion in the bank and you came up with 18 new ways to tax the hell out of Washington citizens, yeah, they're going to have the money to do it. But that is the effective date right now, January 1st, 2025. Now let's talk about Senate Bill 5078. We're gonna be doing some follow-up videos because if, I don't really think a lot of you appreciate what a horrific piece of legislation this truly is. That's gonna create all sorts of new liability on FFL industries, all sorts of new liability that can be created by the negligent, reckless, or criminal acts of third parties. That bill has an enactment clause that says 90 days after the date the governor signs it. So we're roughly looking at sometime in July, the latter part of July, that Senate Bill 5078 will be full effect for the FFL industry. The last bill, of course, that we need to talk about is the one that has most of you really worked up. That's House Bill 1240. That is a ban on semi-automatic rifles and a litany of other firearms now labeled as unlawful assault weapons by Washington state law. It does not ban the possession of all the firearms you currently own, including all the ones that you very wisely went out and stocked up on in the last couple of months. That bill has an emergency enactment clause, which means as soon as the governor signs it, it becomes good law. And we know it's an emergency. We know, for example, that he needs this emergency enactment clause because, I mean, he's been sitting on the bill for almost a week now waiting for the photo opportunity to actually sign that. We do anticipate that all three of these bills will be signed simultaneously at one big, huge signing party with all the photo opportunities for both the attorney general and the governor. It will occur sometime April 23rd, 24th, 25th, 
right in that range. So the House Bill 1240 will take effect immediately. Senate Bill 5078 will take effect 90 days from the date in which the governor signs it. And House Bill 1143 will not take effect until January 1st, 2025, so long as it is properly funded. Hopefully that clears up any of the confusion you may have about when the enactment dates are on any of the new laws. Now, let me point out that that presumes that all of these are signed by the governor, enacted, and then there is no injunction, no temporary restraining order, no successful lawsuit. And obviously, as we know, that is an equation that is a very complicated one that no one has a solution to yet. Listen, you may have more questions about these new gun laws or anything else related to what's left of our Second Amendment rights. If you do, you should know how to contact Washington gun law by now, but if you don't, that's okay. All of that information is in the description box down below. In the meantime, I do want all of you to remember that part of being a lawful and responsible gun owner, like we talk about all the time here, is to know what the law is in every situation and how it applies to you in any instance that you may find yourself. Until next time, thanks for watching and stay safe.